Greetings, this is Pastor Dan, the Preacher Man, and I've got another encouraging word today. I'll be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, starting in verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. It's an incredible principle here that I've taught on many times. I remember when I first uh, came to Callaway Baptist Church and uh, we reached a point where we were going to consider some people as candidates for the deacon ministry. In fact, I'd set up a training program. And one of the questions that was asked of me in, in a church meeting was, Pastor, what about those people who smoke? We're talking cigarettes. And I said, well, we can look in the Bible and you're not going to see tobacco or cigarettes mentioned uh, in specifically. But I've known preachers who preached uh, against tobacco and tobacco products to the point that if you were smoking, you were probably um, preparing yourself for hell. I don't agree with that approach. I took a different approach, and I took the congregation to this passage, and I said, you know, we are to be examples to others in our life, uh, especially those in positions like deacon ministry or uh, Sunday school teacher or head usher or pastor. And so we should set an example. And so from an example standpoint, uh, I would say that I am a steward of the body that I have on loan from God. I'm supposed to take care of it. And that's basically what Paul is trying to say to the church in Corinth. Now, they were dealing with other issues, uh, in particular, whether they should be vegetarians or not. Uh, they were dealing with fornication and other sexual immorality. So Paul reminds them that, look, you were bought with a price. In other words, Jesus Christ went to the cross to save you from your sins. God, in the, in his, in the beginning... In the creation account, in the creation story in Genesis 1 and 2, um, created mankind to reflect his glory. Now sin has ruined that. Christ has come along to deal with our sin nature so that we could get back to the business of reflecting God's glory. Ultimately, when we leave this plane and we're in our eternal home and God sets up the eternal kingdom, then we will be reflecting the glory of God. So we have a responsibility to take care of our bodies. It's not just cigarettes, by the way. It's anything we can do that would harm our body. You can go. We have this wonderful thing called internet with all this information out there. You can go to uh, WebMD and you can see the dangers of smoking. And uh, I was moved uh, a few years back when you know, I went to the doctor. He said, you have these things that are wrong with you, and I realized the best thing I could do, rather than taking additional medicine, was simply to exercise and diet. In other words, I had the responsibility to do those things that would improve my health. And whether making changes in my diet, uh, to eat less or eat responsibly, those things were under my control. So rather than having lots of food regulations, Sometimes it's just a little bit of common sense. And let me throw, throw out some benefits. You know, again, I'm not picking on cigarettes. I'm not picking on the people who smoke. I'm just putting out there that you have the responsibility of taking care of your body. And when you have illnesses come along that's related to your habit, you might want to step back and say, maybe I ought to stop. Realize your body is a gift from God. And he's given it to you for you to take care of. The government can't take care of it for you. The doctors, a lot of times, often they're just repairing the damage that you have done to your body. Whether it's eating too much fatty red meat or it's uh, uh, eating too much ice cream, uh, whether it's uh, smoking cigarettes, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, I can go down the list. I can pick your favorite sin and you're going to get upset at me. But the fact is, you and I, we are responsible for what God has given us. And now it's no longer ours. Jesus Christ has saved us from sin. And we have the Bible. 
And we have the Holy Spirit. In fact, the Holy Spirit lives in us. He's a special guest in us. Think about that. And you're wanting to provide a place that's falling down? The guest room in a lot of people's homes is often the best kept room in the house for good reason. So I just want to throw this out to you today. That let us commit to being better stewards of what God has given us so that we can be in a better position to serve him for his glory. Take care, and God bless.